Hey everyone, in this video here I just want to demonstrate um, how you can look for JavaScript errors in a web page. Now I just made a very basic web page here and essentially what it does is just prints hello world to the screen using JavaScript and I'll show you the source code for that here real quick. That's all it is there. Of course I'm missing doc types and the proper HTML tags but this is just a very simple script that just uh, echoes hello world to the screen as you can see here so everything's fine with that I mean short of the doc type missing and the HTML tags missing everything's fine and it executes okay but I also have another one here that doesn't that shows blank it doesn't show anything and uh, if you look at the source code you can see that I'm missing the the quote the double quote there after the exclamation mark so that's why nothing is being put to the screen so now I can to determine what the error is this is Chrome here so this is the Chrome browser so I just have to click on right click click on inspect element and then I can have a look at the console to see what what's going on here so I can analyze that error uh, to determine what's going on with this with this page and in a similar way with uh, Internet Explorer for example with Internet Explorer to get to the console, I just have to press F12 on my keyboard. And it should be at HTML by default. You click over to console. Okay, and then let's refresh this page and we can see what, what's going on here. It's giving me, of course, the error, the doc type is expected. And then this is a more informative error than with Chrome giving an unterminated string constant. So that can give me an indication of what's going on with the code in there. And now with Firefox, it's very similar under Tools, Web Developer. I click Web Console right here. Or Control Shift K will bring up the same thing. and then I could see what's going on um, unterminated string literal and that's it so if you're getting this uh, any kind of JavaScript errors with um, with your WordPress site it's a good idea to to determine whether whether or not it's a theme or a plugin that's causing the problem and the first thing you want you might want to check you can log into your dashboard here and listen to eliminate the theme as the issue for the uh, for the error we can head over to um, appearance and go to themes and then just reactivate the uh, 2011 or 2012 theme whatever the default theme is that you want for WordPress just activate one of those because you could be sure that they're not causing any of the JavaScript problems um, and it may be just the the theme that you happen to be working with so you can activate um, one of those themes and then go back to the page that has the error refresh it and then clear the console and um, look again at the console and see if the error disappears and if it does clearly it's an issue with the theme and similar with uh, with plugins um, won't be as easy with plugins you take a look at all the installed plugins that you have what I tend to do I only have one plugin installed here but what I tend to do is deactivate all plugins and then I test one by one I'll activate one at a time and then I could see where the conflict arises um, that way I just have to keep clearing the console and refreshing the page as I activate each plugin just to make sure and that's it um, hopefully that uh, gives you an idea of how to rectify any JavaScript errors so if you do come across any and you're a developer, of course you can fix those in on your own, but if it's um, the result of a particular plugin or theme, you can contact a developer of the, that plugin or theme to uh, and, and inform them of what you found and um, under what scenarios it is that you found those in the, and uh, any good developer will correct that right away. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a great day.